hey guys so welcome to the linux channel so as you know usually i shoot my videos in my home uh, near my desk usually these days and uh, today i just thought uh, let me shoot it in this uh, nice park uh, which is uh, near my home and uh, i've just uh, had my lunch and i just came for a quick afternoon walk and i thought uh, let me shoot a video on uh, uh, process uh, versus threats in systems architecture perspective so this video is not about uh, in terms of uh, uh, explaining or giving an introduction about uh, what a process is or what a threat is uh, and assume uh, you are uh, an architect a systems architect you need to have a fine balance about uh, when you need to choose a process and when you need to split it into multiple threads there is an option you can split the task into multiple processes or as well you can uh, split it each process in multiple threads so that's the sort of find delicate balance uh, you need to attain and that is what i have tried uh, achieving in my uh, toffee data center uh, uh, software development so what i have done is initially i have uh, spawned around 21 processes and i can uh, study various uh, parameters like cpu load and the network performance and things like that so other than that what i can do is i can also split this processes into multiple threads so what i have done is i have done first splitting into two threads so that i can get immediately 42 uh, process execution context in which if you kind of measure there are totally 21 processes and uh, you know 42 threads overall of these processes as such so it's a kind of fine delicate balance the more threads you have it is like you have sort of more common shared memory and uh, it saves the amount of memory you use and in case if the cpu is cache intensive and it is optimized towards the cache available and things like that it is going to give a better performance and in case if you have a bigger cpu with lots and lots of cache at the same time you have some sort of limited processing power in that context you can also choose opting for multiple processes because there is nothing wrong in terms of using as much as process as possible because the advantage you get process is complete isolation if one process uh, dies or else it gets crashes or something like that you have other uh, processes which will continue to exist but in case if you split into only threads what happens is uh, if one thread crashes or something happens that is going to kill the entire process context so that is lot more dangerous if you have some sort of server software development in case if you do so quite often uh, software developers uh, what they do is uh, they optimize uh, their uh, uh, software uh, with respect to memory optimized code often there is an issue in case if your code is memory optimized uh, it needs uh, lots and lots of uh, you know processing uh, computational power and you need to attain a fine delicate balance after which you can uh, leave some amount of excessive memory allocation but at the same time focus everything about cpu performance in case if your application needs and it demands and there are cases you may not able to offload it to uh, dedicated uh, hardware form where in that case you need to optimize your code so that it runs fast in your server platform so this i am especially talking about huge server infrastructure as well as uh, any kind of hpc computing uh, platform where in which uh, uh, the entire uh, focus is all about uh, you know uh, cpu optimization uh, the process uh, uh, runtime optimization and you need to have a fine delicate balance between the memory consumption versus you know uh, process runtime optimization as well so in that case what you can do is by splitting the process in multiple threads effectively what you are getting is each process when it sits in the cpu execution context it is going to utilize the cpu cache and it is going to give the best performance if there is sufficient amount of cache and uh, let's take an example of a xeon processor you may have these days uh, uh, commonly around 20 mb of cpu cache and that's a great advantage which you can utilize which you can uh, leverage so with that sort of uh, cache what you can do is you can uh, uh, take the advantage of cache you can uh, use uh, uh, you can split the process in multiple threads and in which each of this thread is going to share your common uh, memory allocated resources so that's the catch over here the more amount of resources you need to allocate each of this process doesn't need to allocate these resources once again as such whereas in case if you don't have 
a thread based architecture and is this only a multi processor based architecture and in that case what happens is each of these resources have to be reallocated in each processing context so that puts a sort of load on the system and uh, it is going to have some amount of performance impact but again it is not going to be significant because we are not talking here uh, about uh, any sort of embedded platform this is a pure server high performance computing platform where you have immense amount of memory resources but you are limited with respect to cpu resources so this is the reason what you can do is when you choose to decide you can choose in terms of allocating the threads the optimal amount of threads per process execution context as well as the optimal amount of processing context so that's all guys for this episode hope you guys liked watching this video in case if you have any questions you can post it in youtube comments or else you can send me across in an email thank you once again for watching this video have a nice day bye bye